This is a review of the Soft Bums Omni One Size Fits All Diaper in the Micro Fleece. This is on my 7 week old, almost 8 week old, 25 inch long, 14 pound baby. About a boy. And um, I have a hate for this diaper like no other. I use probably 10 different brands of diff diapers since I review them. And this is the only one that leaks. And I have tried a little of everything from contacting the manufacturer to going to help sites. And it leaks in one spot. And it's nothing that I have been able to fix. And that's around the stitching in the legs. And this is a brand new diaper. I bought it brand new. I followed the warranty when I prepped it. And I attempted to follow the warranty the first couple weeks when I was trying to fix the leak issue. And then I gave up on the warranty because they wouldn't accept the cloth diaper back. Or the green nursery wouldn't accept it back because I bought it before he was born. And so the 30 days were up on it. So then I started trying my own things, stripping the diaper, maybe thinking that it wasn't absorbent and that's why it was leaking around the seams. Also uh, uh, heating the pull up quite hot to see if I could melt the pull to kind of work its way around the stitching. That did not work either. Um, switched detergents a couple times specifically for this diaper and that also did not work. If it didn't have a leak problem, I would love this diaper and here's why. A, it's an adorable owl print, and I love owls. B, this is the coolest feature of all. Oh, it fits quite nice. So if you look at the leg, that is a wonderful fit around the leg. A little perky on the bottom. He has one insert in right now. But here's why I love this diaper, and I think it's a great one-size diaper. I've pulled these out already, so you can see. These, there's two of them. They go around each leg. They have a little pin right here. Looks a little bit on the breakable side, but I'm glad they went with a little one. And you can shrink or increase the size of the leg holes. I really like that. So, um, it has a one row of buttons. There are no snaps down here, which is nice, so you don't have to worry about snaps. So it's kind of husband proof. And you do have the snaps right here with one overlay snap for when they're newborns or scrawny. And you can snap it over. I did use that the first week on the insides. Like I said, he has one hemp insert in right now. I didn't buy the insert that went with the diaper at first. And now I can't find the insert. But it wasn't anything spectacular. Boop. Coo, coo, coo. So if we look at the diaper, it's a pretty diaper. Uh-oh. Oh. Something. To stuff the diaper is not too bad. It's got a nice wide hand room, so it's one of the easier ones to stuff. It comes with a button. And I have a lot of inserts that have the button on it, so you can snap the button in, or snap the insert in. I really have never felt the need for it. The pool seems to be a good expensive pool, even though it's been leaking. It is micro fleece. I was having issues with uh, barnyard smell the first couple weeks that my baby was born. And... Um, this was one of the diapers that didn't get the barnyard smell, and I kind of attribute the micro fleece to it. There's no staining on it, it's just a light. Um, the edges, they can be a little hard to clean if he poops in it, but that's no worse than any other diaper. Compared to a newborn Kawi diaper, they seem to be at the same size for the most part, and this one has a better elastic around the legs, where the Kawi seems to be a little gaping around the legs. I like the snaps, I think it does come in Velcro. But I just cannot fix the leaking problem. This is the Soft Buns Omni.